What's happening guys? My name is Jamie, this is the Norwich Reptile Shed and in this video we're going to do something different again. Um, it's not in the reptile shed, it's not a reptile. Um, we're going to be out in the garden and we're going to start building a cat run. So this is where we are with it currently. Uh, I've had these frames built for a while. Uh, very simple to build this stuff. Just easy frames, butt jointed together. A couple of screws. This is all treated timber, three by two. Uh, and then it's mesh with one inch uh, PVC coated mesh. Uh, what we've done today is uh, remove the old one. We had, a, a one, we had a, an old one back there that was a bit tatty. Uh, and smaller so this one's going to be much bigger um, and what we've done is run a uh, patio slabs along there as a base um, for the back end to help stop weeds because this is going to be quite close to the fence um, and what we've got to do now is basically build a straight edge um, which is going to come out the same distance as this bit here which is 1.2 meters and then we're going to come along and we're going to go back to the wall there so it's going to be a giant L shape um, and then for the time being before we change this window out for a door uh, the cats come out of this window so uh, yeah let's get cracking Okay, so it is the next day. We didn't film too much yesterday because uh, we we're working against the uh, against the light. But what we've done is put this uh, frame up, and that's all meshed. And that's good. Uh, and then we've built the frames for the next, well, for the rest of it basically. So what my well, what my next job is is to take this frame down this is going to have a door in it so i'm going to take this frame down now that i know all my measurements for all the other frames i can take this down put a door in it um, i've also added a frame up here that's got to be meshed out but that's keeping the distance between these two frames and then this large frame here um, is going to need a little bit of special attention because it's longer than four foot which is the width of the mesh sheets um, but we also don't want to put another beam in because it will just block it will block the uh, the view from from our lounge. Uh, so what we're actually going to do here is push it, it, it is put two sheets of mesh and then uh, like uh, basically tie them together. Um, and we're going to give that a go. Um, but yeah, let's crack on with making a door.
think that'll do it for this video guys um obviously we've got loads more to do inside here uh, all i've done this morning is just quickly knock up a few shelves and a ramp just to kind of keep them occupied um, and then over the next few weeks we're just going to fill this um, with awesome stuff uh, we're going to put some turf down more planters um, and uh yeah just just go nuts really um all that sort of stuff is completely um you know personal to you and your cats and and so i'm not really gonna go into detail too much as to as to what we're gonna put in here um and as for the size and the shape again that's something that i don't really need to go into detail with because each one is custom to to your property and and things like that so as had to do this kind of l shape to to meet this window which will eventually be a door um but we didn't want it to sort of come this far out into the uh into the garden so uh everything's custom um but it's all the same principle butt joints um mesh it's just you know we build everything kind of to four foot to uh, everything in here is the width of the mesh so when you roll the mesh on um you staple it down you don't have to do too much cutting um but yeah i think that will cover it for this video guys so thanks for checking out this video guys again another different one for us um it's something that's been well overdue and just takes priority at the moment so um yep we're gonna have loads of fun over the next few weeks filling that full of cool stuff um but I won't do any more with that video. We'll crack on with the reptile stuff next. Um, still got still got to finish the six foot vivs. Um, and I've got to do a moving in video as well with uh, Priscilla, uh, the Royal Python. So uh, thanks for checking in, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, find me on Instagram, all them kind of things. And I'll see you in the next video.